awesome. Wait a minute. If this is what the mantle looks like, what is it made out of? Did someone say mantle? Chris Lolly, just the scientist I was looking for. I have a question. What is the composition of the mantle? Funny you should ask. I'm in the process of pulverizing mantle rocks using a new wet milling technique to produce nano powders, which are pressed and then analyzed directly by laser ablation inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry to answer that exact question. Maybe my student should explain. Come with me. professional rock crusher. I'm gonna leave now. I always wondered what became of you after field season. I want to know what the mantle is made out of, and Chris said you're the right person to ask. Well, Vicky, funny you should mention that. I was actually just thinking about the answer to that question. Most people don't realize just how thick our planet is. Fun fact, the lithosphere, aka the outermost portion of the Earth, goes up to 200 kilometers deep. And of those kilometers, we can only drill to depths of a few kilometers. <gasps> but we all know the Earth's radius is over 6,000 kilometers. How do we study rocks when they're buried tens of kilometers beneath the Earth's surface? Well, you're a geophysicist. You've probably heard of a volcano, right? Yeah, you could say that. Well, the lava that erupts from volcanoes comes from the inner layer of the Earth, the mantle. As it travels to the surface, Sometimes pieces of the mantle break off and get carried in the magma flow. Like a lazy river at a water park. Sure! When it reaches the lithosphere and the volcano erupts, these pieces of the mantle, called xenoliths, get ejected onto the Earth's surface. This gives geologists the opportunity to study what the mantle is made of without actually digging that deep. Instead of going to the rocks, they come to us. How convenient. You would think. But the problem is, some of these samples are so small that when we try to study them, we can't get accurate measurements, so the exact composition of the mantle remains a mystery. Does this make Chris a geology Nancy Drew? Precisely! <laughs> to solve this mystery, we've developed a method where we pulverize mantle xenoliths into teeny tiny fragments. This way, we can tell exactly what elements from the periodic table are in each sample. Wait! How does it grinding it smaller make a difference? Think of it like sugar. Granulated sugar represents the traditional technique since the grains are so much bigger. This new technique is like transforming the sample into icing sugar. Icing sugar is at such a small grain size, the sugar is more homogeneous and is all roughly the same size. That makes it easier to measure the small concentrations. Wow, this is great. So if we get some samples of mantle xenoliths, we can figure out the composition. Totally! Let's go get some samples. Now that we're back in the lab, let's get this party started and mill some rocks. I put the powder into the agate containers with the agate balls. Then, since the process is wet milling, I add some water. Now they're ready to go into the pulverizer. Then we just push a button and wait. It's that easy? Yes, because science is that easy. The Paul Marie Z spins at 750 rotations per minute. Whoa, fast. As it's spinning that fast, the balls mill the powder into the fine grain size we need. I still don't see how this answers my question. Stick with me, Vicky. We take the slurry we made from the milling process and dehydrate it so that it's super fine grained powder. We then take that powder and press it into very concentrated pellets. And what do we do with the pellets? We shoot them with a laser. Zap. Wow, actually? Yeah, it's called laser ablation, and it pretty much vaporizes our pellets and then uses magnets to separate the elements according to mass. That way we know what the pellets are made out of. So that's how we find the composition of the mantle. I feel like I've learned a lot about the mantle. And crushing rocks. I hope you learned too. Remember kids, Science is fun! Demental! 
you like this video, let us know with a thumbs up. Click on the logo below to subscribe to the Simply Science channel and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos.